it's Michelle and I have got the cutest little napkin fold for you guys today. As you know, I've done quite a few videos for fairy themed projects. I am really, really loving the fairy theme. And you guys might remember this napkin here from my Minnie Mouse table setting that I thought was just so cute. But as I got more into the fairy themed projects, that started to look more and more like a mushroom to me. So I decided to see how I could do coming up with a mushroom napkin fold. And I think you guys are really going to like it. So I've got the one polka dotted napkin, and this is in the beverage size. And one white napkin also in the beverage size. And when I thought of this idea, I decided to go back to Dollar General, which is where I got the polka dotted napkins, although they are available also at Walmart if you want to look there. So I went back and I got some more colors. I got the yellow, but it was in a smaller polka dot, so that gives a little bit of variation, and I kind of like that. And then I found a green polka dot, but it's in the lunch size, so I thought that would be cute too for even more variation. But if you make the larger one with the lunch size napkin, you're going to need your white napkin in lunch size also. Just as long as your polka dot and your white napkins are the same size. So, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is our mushroom top. So we're just going to open this up into a tall rectangle. We just opened it one time. And we're going to bring the bottom up to meet with our crease in the center. And I'm going to be using a bone folder today to make my creases really sharp. But if you all want to do like I was doing before and use one of your utensil handles, to crease that, that'll really help out a lot too. So then we're going to bring the top one down and meet with that crease also and crease that. And it is really important for this fold that you get sharp creases or if you want to you can do it the day before and maybe press it inside of a heavy book and then just fold that back down and there's what we have at this point so then on either of our short ends what we want to do is just fold that in half just enough to find our center point of that and just pinch for one little crease to mark our center point and we'll do that on both ends and just mark that center point. And once you get that, you want to fold your top corners down along that crease that we just now made. Folding that down so that your line here at the bottom runs parallel with the bottom of your napkin. Giving you a 45 degree corner up at the top. And then crease that. And do the same thing over here with our middle point that we found. Crease it really well. Okay, and then for the bottom, you want to do the same thing but much smaller. Just one little pinch of a corner there. And a little pinch of a corner on the other side. And that is all it takes to create your top. You can turn it over at that point. 
And we'll just set that aside while we work on our mushroom stem. Okay. Now for that you want to take your napkin with your folded edge at the bottom so that your loose edges are all at the top. And along the bottom we want to try to find thirds. So we're just going to loosely fold that just to see to make sure we get our thirds right before we crease anything. And again just two little pinches there to crease and mark our points of our thirds. And at that point we're going to do the same thing folding that straight up so that we get a 45 degree corner on the bottom. Do the same thing over here. Crease it. And there are your 45 degree corners on the bottom. Now at this point it's really easy because it's just guesswork. You can eyeball it from here. We're going to come about a third of the way up this width of this corner here. So about a third. We're going to hold pressure there and fold this in so that it comes at an angle. And just crease it. Now this angle is up to you and it doesn't have to be perfect. Do the same thing on the other side about a third of the way up and then fold it in at an angle and the two sides don't even have to be at the same angle if you have any excess hanging off there just tuck it under and crease that and like I said it doesn't have to be perfect on this part it's a mushroom so I think actually if it's a little bit wonky it looks even better on the mushrooms. So if you guys recall on my mushroom bead charms when I came out with those straight I actually put a little crook in those on purpose just to make them a little wonky because I think that's really really cute with the mushrooms. So that's all there is to that. We just turn it over so that all of our folds are on the back side and we don't see those. And then we're just going to tuck it up inside of that mushroom topper that we made. And if your folds come loose, just kind of re retuck those. And there's your mushroom. I like to kind of put a little crook on those too. I think it's really cute. And again, just make sure that you crease everything down good or press it under a heavy book if you can make time to do it ahead of time so that everything will stay down really good for you. And here are some that I made in the beverage size yellow napkin with the smaller polka dots. And then we have the larger one in the lunch size with the green polka dots. And again, if you use the larger napkin for the top, you're going to need the larger napkin for your bottom. And here's one that I did with the wood grain napkins that we used in our fishing boat napkin fold for Father's Day to give more of the look of a natural mushroom instead of the more whimsical ones. And you could use just a plain brown napkin or tan. So many different ideas you guys could come up with. I think these are really, really cute. Let me know what you think, and if you have any other ideas, I would love to hear them. Don't forget to subscribe 
to my YouTube channel. Give me a like over on my Facebook page. Also, go over and join our Facebook group, Crafty Minds. Follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. And don't forget to stop by and visit the blog. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.